Shabbat Shalom and Yom Hatzmut Sameach, my friends. I want to share an idea that I think can lift our spirits a little as we and the world, and of course our brothers and sisters in Israel, are about to celebrate 76 years of independence this coming Monday. Rabbi Blech, one of my teachers, Rabbi Benjamin Blech, wrote in one of his books that if you take the year that Israel was created, the Hebrew year in which the state of Israel was founded in 1948 was 5708. If you count 5,708 verses in the Torah from Genesis 1, from the very beginning, listen to the verse that you get in chapter 30, verse 3 in Deuteronomy, Sefer Devarim. The Shav Hashem Elokecha et Shuvotcha Viricha Mecha, and God will return your captives and He will have mercy upon them. The Shav Vikibetcha Mikola Mim, and God will return you from all the nations. Asher Hafietcha Hashem Elokecha Shama, that God has scattered you amongst. The 5,708th verse in the Torah speaks about the Jewish return from captivity. We're considered, when we live in Galut, to be in captivity, just like our brothers and sisters in captivity in Gaza now. And Hashem, in this year, 5708, doesn't say it explicitly, but it happens to be the 5708th verse in the Torah that God tells us that at some point He's going to bring us back together. That, of course, was 1948. And Rashi, the great biblical commentator, tells us something very powerful as well. He says the verse should have said, that God will return your captives. But instead he said that God himself will return. Why? Because God himself is in captivity when you are in the tsarut hagulatam, Rashi says. When you are in the worst possible moment in your life, Hashem is there with you. We believe that Hashem is with the captives. And he's been with the Jewish people as we've been scattered. And he was with us when he brought us back to Israel in 1948. And we also know that according to the Hebrew calendar, Avram Avinu, that Abraham was born 1,948 years after the world was created. Abraham, the founder of the Jewish people and Judaism, came into existence. I'm sharing these, what might appear as a cute little number game with you, so that we can have a little inspiration that there's a plan. God has a plan plan has been outlined in the Torah. We don't always see the plan. We don't understand, certainly do not understand, how October 7th fits into the plan. But there is a plan. Am Yisrael Chai, not just because we have faith, but because we believe that God had a deliberate intention for everything to be unfolding exactly the way it is. We just have to have the same faith and amuna of our brothers and sisters in Israel, of those Chayalim serving in Gaza right now, who are going in with such intention with such courage and heroism, not because they're just, you know, silly people with, you know, idealistic young men, women, because they believe that there's a grander plan. And if you're part of the Jewish people and you don't believe in a plan, then I don't know how any of us could explain the continued existence of the Jewish people against all odds. By all accounts, we shouldn't be here anymore, but we are here and we continue to thrive. And Israel is strong. In Israel and all of us, the Jewish people, wherever we are, we're going to get through this. What's in Israel, anti-Semitism in America, the United States, all over the world. We've been through worse. We're going to prevail, but we're only going to do so if we remain strong and not just physically like the IDF, but strong spiritually by remembering that we get little hints. 5708, 1948. These are special things that were supposed to happen. Please, God, we continue to have that faith and to continue to build Israel and the Jewish people and our own Judaism from within. Hashem should continue to unfold the plan to its full fruition, the coming of the Mashiach very soon. Shabbat Shalom, Yom Sameach.